how about for the rigors of the sports we play? I showed them two, two videos. Those kids need to be prepared, not for the next level, but for where they experience that. You have to meet them where they are, developmentally. Okay, because here's the reality there. Well, 7% of kids will play in college, one in five will sustain a concussion while playing their sport. One in five. The reason why kids stop playing, just under 30% for both boys and girls. Why they no longer play a sport. It's not because they weren't good enough, it's not because... The number one reason is they didn't have fun anymore. Okay, so the number two reason is injury. Why kids stop playing. So when you're training them, are you preparing them for that? Knowing they're exposed to risk and there's no way of getting around it. I'm not saying ban sports, I'm not saying change the sport. I'm saying we have to do a better job of preparing kids. The average kid stays out of high school with a concussion two weeks. So if you're a junior getting ready for the college process, you miss two weeks of classwork, plus now have to make that up. What kind of pressures are you under? I had a kid, he got a concussion in the springtime. He was playing pickup basketball. He missed two weeks of school, had to make it up. His junior year did not end for him until August, by the time he was done with all his makeup work. By the way, school started again in September. So this is the only injury that we're talking about which has academic consequences. And again, most people, or almost all people, are not gonna make their living out of sport. Academics are pretty important for the student athlete. 